Hello friends, welcome once again to Dr. Osman's Edu Trends. How are you all? Hope you are all doing good and safe at home. Friends, right now we all are facing a pandemic COVID-19 and to safeguard ourselves, we are following all possible measures to prevent the community spread and entry of virus in our body. What if in case virus enters the body? The next step is to strengthen our immune system which plays a major role in fighting against this infection. Taking recommended amount of vitamin C is found to play a major role in boosting our immune system and helps fighting any infection. Let us see how. Friends, vitamin C or ascorbic acid is an essential protein but our body does not produce it. Our body can store a very little amount of vitamin C so it needs to be consumed each day. It is absorbed from the diet we take. Many fruits and vegetables are naturally rich in vitamin C. Citrus foods like Orange, kiwi, lemon, guava, grapefruit, papaya, cantaloupe are rich source of vitamin C. Vegetables like potatoes, capsicum, broccoli and Brussels sprouts, pepper and all varieties of bell peppers contains vitamin C. Friends, let us briefly talk about some of the important functions of vitamin C. Vitamin C supports bones, tendons and skin by playing a major role in synthesis of collagen which is a main structural protein that provides support. It helps in healing wounds and repairing bones and can reduce the risk of cartilage loss in those patients who are suffering with osteoarthritis. Vitamin C improves heart health. It lowers blood pressure by removing extra fluid from the body which reduces the pressure and helps prevent stroke and other cardiovascular problems. Friends, Vitamin C prevents cancer by reducing the oxidative stress. Oxygen in the body splits into single uncharged atom called as free radicals which scavenge the body to seek out other electrons to get charged but these free radicals damage the cells and cause the cell death. Vitamin C here acts as an antioxidant protecting the cells from free radicals damage. Consuming more vitamin C can increase our blood antioxidant levels by up to 30% which boost up the natural defenses of our body to fight inflammation. It improves brain function as it is important for proper functioning of our brain which helps in neuron maturing and forms a protective level around it. This also ensures a faster transmission of nerve impulses. It also involves in synthesis of several neurotransmitters which are important for signaling in the nervous system. Vitamin C also enhances iron absorption as consuming food rich in vitamin C can increase iron absorption as iron is essential for transfer of oxygen all over the body. Friends, vitamin C helps us to lose more weight. Research showed that people who consume more vitamin C burns 30% more fat than those with low vitamin C content in their bodies. Vitamin C is involved in synthesis of carnitine, a chemical that helps our body generate energy from fatty acids. Now let us see what if vitamin C is consumed in excess amount. Vitamin C right now is considered as one of the 10 most sought after drugs all over the world and countries that are experiencing extreme COVID-19 outbreak. It gained attention particularly because of its growing reputation for immune boosting and wound repairing ability. As a body does not produce or store vitamin C, it is important to take it in diet but too much dietary vitamin C is harmful and may cause some health challenges. The dose of any medicine including vitamin C depends on the user and the factors such as age, sex, comorbid conditions, reasons for intake, other medications the person is taking and even the dosage form of the medicine. The normal dose of vitamin C is between 65 to 90 mg per day for a normal adult. But in times of sickness or in order to boost immunity like during present viral infection COVID-19, patient may reach a maximum of 2000 mg per day. For instance, in the absence of other limiting factor, a normal adult may require 1000 mg to 2000 mg vitamin C daily which is usually the highest dosage range. But persons who eat sufficient fruits and vegetables and are not sick or deficient in vitamin C may just need about 75 to 100 mg daily. Excess of this may lead to side effects such as nausea, vomiting, heartburn, abdominal cramps, headache and insomnia, difficulty to sleep. The outcomes can be disastrous as it can lead to death or morbidity. For example, diabetics are advised not to take more than 500 mg vitamin C per day. Otherwise, it can lead to pulse urinary glucose level. Also, a diabetic patient and person with kidney problems can develop kidney stones if they take more than the recommended doses of vitamin C. 
Anti failure can result from excess intake of vitamin because of the hyperoxaluria that is too much oxalate crystals in urine. It should be avoided in persons with hemachromatosis that is iron absorption and storage condition complications otherwise it can cause damage to liver and other organs. So friends I believe that after knowing this all you will think at least once before taking vitamin C in larger doses. Please do take vitamin C in recommended doses to strengthen your immune system. So friends I hope this video is informative to you all. If you really like this video then do like and share it and do subscribe my channel. Thank you.